Hi, in tonight's Unity tutorial, I'm just going to go over something really quick. Two ways to do text on a Unity screen. So here I have a Unity project and I have two scenes. I have one way that I'm doing text using the on GUI method. And then I have another scene where I do text using UI text or you know, TextMesh Pro. Okay, so the on GUI method is the first one. So I press play. You'll see when I press play, you see text on the screen right here, like on GUI that I can display on the screen and locations. And then I have another text that I display over my game object that kind of moves with the game object. It's kind of like naming the character as he moves around the scene. Then in the other scene I have, let me press stop. And now I'll look at the, the UI text method. It's the same thing, but done a little differently with different technologies. So here, this one is using TextMesh Pro or UI text. This is the more um, modern method. So here's text on the screen, and here's text over the game object. Okay, so when I move the character, the text stays over the, the character, and it stays facing the camera. A little bit of difference here is this one, when the character moves closer or further away, the text actually gets a little smaller, too, with distance. So each one has pros and cons. So let's show the first method again. Here's the on GUI method. Here's my game character, and here's a script I have that I added for it. So here in the script, I just mentioned that this is using the on GUI method. It's this um, event on GUI, and it's called the immediate mode GUI system for Unity. The pros of using this method are it's pretty simple. You just write code to draw on the screen. That's it. And the, another pro is that it's good for debugging. If you just want to show something on the screen when you're debugging your code, you just have to write the code and show it on the screen. Um, the cons are performance, like this between the two text methods. This method is um, not as performant because it draws the text every single frame. There's no optimization. And the other con is that basically this is uh, from Unity. It's outdated. It's not recommended. It's kind of like it's kind of like an older method. Here is the text, uh, the script here. Okay, so this part here is just my regular move the player around script. You got move speed, turn speed, and then I get the input from the vertical and horizontal axis and the character. That's not the tutorial. The tutorial is over here. This is the on GUI method. On GUI is called for rendering and handling GUI events. And I kind of broke it out into two functions here. The, the first function is the screen text that you store in the top corner. And here I just specify what text to show there. Here's the on GUI screen text method. So first, I kind of use a GUI style object to say the font size and the color. And then you have to like specify a rectangular size of where you want to draw. So in the corner, it's like 10, 10, 300 wide, and 50 deep. So that's the rectangle in which the text will be drawn. And then I call GUI.label, and GUI.label will use that screen rectangle. That's where on the screen to draw it, and use the text and use the GUI style to draw that on GUI message. I'll just press play so you can see it. I'm talking about it. So see the ongoing message right there. So that's what the screen text does. This does it. So that's nice for debugging. You just have to write this text. You don't have to add any game objects. Then the other uh, the other one over here is the game object with text over his head. And um, you're going to see the text stays the same size. So you see when I'm close, you would think the text would get bigger. But no, text actually stays the same size, even though the game object you know, is moving around in 3D space. The text is the same size. So that's one of the cons about this. But... This is how you do that. So it's the same thing. I still have the GUI style for the font size and the color. And then I just have to calculate the location of the text on the screen. So I do that here. Uh, let me make this bigger. I do that here. Um, as you can see, uh, loopy. All right. So what I do is I, I use the main camera, the main camera, camera.main. I, I use a function on the main camera called world to screen point. So it's going to convert the 3D Thing in, in the scene to a 2D point on the screen. And what it takes is a position in the world. So it's the game object. It's this game object character's position in the world, transform that position. And then I just add a little offset to raise the text above his head. That point, that 4.5 is to raise the text up over his head. Then after I get that um, position from the world space to screen space. Uh, what is this? The label location dot y. So that vector y equals the screen height. So whatever the display screen is, the height minus the label location y. And so these two lines get the position. And then I call GUI label, right? So GUI label took a rectangle 
So GUI label, here's the rectangle of where to display the text. Then I display the text with the GUI style. So that's the GUI method. It's just, just pop in this code, call it from on GUI, and it'll display text, okay? Now the other method is the UI text method to display text. And this is this one. This is the one you probably would use if you're making a game and, you, you know, for the game, the other one I would use for debugging, but this one, if I was going to have something in the game, I'd use this method. And the thing that had to get added here was a canvas and an event system. So the canvas and the event system, they get added by just right clicking and you would add a game object UI canvas to add the canvas and event system. And then in the canvas, you would add a right click UI text, which is a text mesh pro text this object. So you see when I click on the, the text mesh pro game object, it has all these properties. These are some of the benefits of using this method. Um, so the screen text here, this is the text in the corner. It's going to say UI text. I could position it with the, with the rectangle transform. It's like, it's in the interface here. So I could click on this and I could, you know, anchor it to the corner. I could hold down all anchor it to a corner, click on this for positioning. Um, and all my settings over here, here I could specify the text to show. I can specify like a lot more things, the font, the color, the style, the alignment. So it has all this interface here, all these properties on the objects to say how the text is going to display in the corner. Then there's another um, text. That's the screen text. Then I actually have a 3D UI text that I put on Mopi. So on Mopi, I added this text. This text was basically, I said, right click, um, 3D object, text mesh pro text. So this is a 3D text that kind of moves around in 3D space. Okay, and with this text, the same thing, I have all the properties on it. And then to make the text uh, face the camera as um, Mopi is moving around, I just had some code for that. So let's look, this is the UI text player class. All right, there's actually a little bit less code. So you, there's a little bit less code and a little bit more here in the setup of the game objects. So the pros of this one is this is definitely more performant to use the UI text method. Uh, it's definitely more flexible, like I said, because instead of having to code everything, you have here in the, in the inspector window all these properties. And it also has the capability to be interactive. That means like if you had in the game and you kind of could click on stuff, if you're showing text on the screen, the um, event system will detect, will be able to detect if the, you know, get detect if something is clicked on and then when clicked, you could do something. You can't do that with the, with the other method. And the con, if you consider it a con, is you need, a, you need to put a canvas and an embed system elements in your scene to use this method. So that's, if you consider that a con, that's a con. Otherwise, the code here is smaller. You know, here I have my move speed, turn speed. This is controlling the character move around. And here I just say, okay, if they define the camera, uh, so for, for this one here, I kind of like, instead of just reading main camera, I added define a camera. And I define the text label. You just drag and drop the text label. So here it's... Um, I had to do one thing though. I had to kind of like to get the camera to to get the text to face the camera all the time. I kind of I had to figure out the direction away from the camera because if you look over here, here's the back of his head. I kind of made the text face this way. So like if I'm moving around, I could see my name. So I kind of put the text like that. Maybe if I put the text facing this, I don't know. I put the text facing this way, but um, I instead of saying for this game object to look at me, I I had it the direction away from the camera. It's the opposite of look at. So it's, it's the label's position minus the camera's position. It's like the vector pointing the other way. And then what I do is I, the, the rotation of the, the label to keep it like kind of on the same horizontal plane instead of like turning up and down, it stays looking on the same horizontal plane. Because imagine the camera's up here somewhere, then th this text would actually start facing up here. So I stopped that from happening with this. Uh, I just had that here. No, I actually stopped that from happening by using this Euler angle here, you know. So I, I cancel out the rotations on the X and the Y, and I just use the, I mean, on the X and the Z, I cancel those rotations, and I just use the rotation on the Y. Anyway, so that's the code for the UI text. And this is the code for the UI GUI, and that's two ways to display text in um in unity. Okay? Thank you. Bye-bye.